YouTube, I'm your friend the neighborhood, Inman64, bringing you the next episode of Polka Park. In the last episode, we wrapped up everything and all the little side shenanigan things we had to do. We've also been beefing Pikachu up a bit, which has included me getting, uh, sh Nike tons of berries after the last few. Because we need to beef up Pikachu a little bit. Because the next few battles in the areas are going to be a little trickier than we can imagine. So for the sake of argument, let's talk to B-Barrel and get our health up a bit more. I'm down to five berries. But Pikachu will be able to hold his own in battle and that's what matters. You've grown quite tough. Your HP has risen. So now I believe we have four HP bars for battle. And then all we have to do is just do one more and then we'll have five. Which is good. We also found out that apparently the friggin' balloon that Pipla picked up for us is awful and now they have to patch it up because they're just awful. Mine Jr. has come to the treehouse. Oh, cool. I'm Junior. Alright. Hello, Mime Junior. I'm friends with your, like, brother or something in the cavern zone. Let's be friends. I've studied a lot about you. Do you want to know anything? Uh... Sure, favorites, I guess? So far, the attractions you've played the most is Venusaur's Vine Swing. Oh, Jesus, that friggin' swing. All that just to get as many friggin' berries as I could just to flip and get the HP boofs. Boofs. Buff I needed. Alright, no use prevaricating about the bush. Let's go to Haunted Land or Haunted Zone or Horror Land. I don't know. Is Miss Magius in the Haunted Zone? Yes, she is. But this is no time for that. Rotom, the keeper of the Haunted Zone, has gone missing. Oh, no! Rotom! I heard a lot about your courage. Will you please try to find him? I'll open the gate right away. Please find Rotom, I'm begging you. How does a ghost go missing in an area that's going to be full of ghost Pokemon? I have no idea. I don't think Pikachu does either, but I don't think Pikachu cares. So let's go and have some fun. As we enter... Halloween Town. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see this is our town of Halloween. Yeah, we're not doing that. That's your end man musical of the year. It's never happening again. Unless he plays a musical themed game, like Guitar Hero, which is never gonna happen. Haunted Zone, not for the faint of heart. Cool, a bunch of ghosts. Yay. And right off the bat as we get in, we got our Drift Limb Stop. Which is stupid. You'd think they'd want to have the Drift Limb Stop farther away. Because at that point, you might as well just run out to the frickin' flippin' meeting place. Eh, whatever. Alright, let's see what can we find here in the friggin' Haunted Zone. Hey, Stunky! 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 Get back here, you skunk bastard! It's the only way I can get you to stop, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you seen my big brother, Skuntank? They say that the haunted house is really scary, but I don't buy it. I'll check it out with my big bro. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta wait till you're in the house. Uh, who else can I find? Hello, Murkrow! I won't go into the haunted house. It scares me too much. And what? Wanna chase? Sure, why not? You don't look crazy at all. And oh, it's Riolu! I'll be with you shortly. Oh, Ampa Pom, get out of my way. Come on, come on, come on! I gotta catch the freaking bird! There you go. All that speed training is really p starting to pay off now. Otherwise, we'd be having a hard time catching Murkrow here. I'll let you be my crony. Did you notice how I was slacking off this time? That's why you won, but it won't be like this next time. We must play chase again. 
Time for our Haunch Crow to return. Ooh, Haunch Crow! Bring it, Haunchy! He looks like he's got a big Santa Claus beard. But we'll deal with him later. I want to talk to Riolu. I'm exploring, but Drifloon won't, bleh, Drifloon won't let me enter the haunted house. I have to clear Tangrowth's attraction first. But I'm not worried. I've heard a tip about Tangrowth's swing along. They say you should hang on to the very end of each rope. Make your, make your swings as big as can be. That way you can jump to the next rope faster. You'll reach your goal quicker. Say, want a battle? Riolu, I will always battle you. You are, without a doubt, your line is one of my favorite lines of Pokemon. Not in my top five, but definitely I'd say somewhere in my top 10 or top 15. Unfortunately, you are not the best doggo. That belongs to Arcanine. And Arcanine is in this game, and I cannot be mean to my Arcanine. That was impressive, and it was fun. Are you here to explore like me? I hope to see you in the haunted house, too. Alright, Riolu is now my friend. And Raichu, and hey, Electrode's here, too. What's up, Electrode? Electrode. The haunted zone. I'm here to check how scary this place really is. Hmm, I guess the first thing to do would be... Clear Tangrowth's attraction. And I don't think you can clear it since you don't have arms. Raichu, Stunky, another Murkrow. Oh, here's Haunchcrow. Hello, you big bearded bastard. This haunted house is full of ghost type Pokemon. What? You going in? You must be crazy. Don't go in. Oh no, I'm not scared of ghost type Pokemon. Certainly not. Would you like to battle? Of course I'd love to battle, Haunchy. I feel bad for Haunchcrow. Every time it's in a game and I can use it, I always find something else I'd prefer to use. Ow! No, you bum! Don't hit me with your peck! Don't hit me with your peck! Electrode, get out of my way. Good job. No! Stop it, you bum! And you're done. Now you must be my friend, Haunchy! You are pretty skilled, and you seem pretty courageous, too. I'd rather have you as my crony than Murkrow. Hey, I'll let you be my friend. Oh my god, Gliscor! Gliscor! Hi, you scary-looking turd! This haunted zone is always dead quiet. Would you like to battle? Sure, why not? Ha, let's begin. Now, before you get your hopes up, remember... Friggin Gliscor is part ground type, so your Thunderbolts will not work. You're gonna have to bump into him and snap, slam, slam, slam into him with Iron Tails. And boom! No! No! And good riddance. Good riddance. Challenging me fearlessly despite my fangs and claws? I admire you. I'd like to be friends. Sure. Why not? Why the hell not? You're a good Pokemon. Oh, it's Meowth. Yeah, I don't want to play with Meowth right now. Alright, Tangrowth, I've left you alone for a while. Let's talk to you. Welcome. Have you noticed that the mood in the haunted zone is always full? What is it about a full moon that puts a shiver in your spine? There aren't any werewolf Pokemon. Don't you be messing with me, Tangrowth. Yes, I want to play your game. Come on. I want to play. Let's let's play. Tangrowth, swing along. Swing and jump from one rope to the next. Beat the target time to reach your goal. Hold the Wii Remote vertically as shown and shake it up when the time starts. Swing in time with the rope and jump when ready. Push the B button as shown. Jump from one rope to another and try to reach the goal. Best suited Raichu? Why is Raichu one of the best suited Pokemon? Doesn't make sense. Oh, we'll stick with my boy Riolu here. My boy. Little Gohan here. I know you wouldn't know that, but I called. I, I'm using a Riolu in a Pokemon Black 2 playthrough right now. Not a Let's Play, though, obviously. 
And I screwed up. Brilliant. Come on! Come on! There you go, Riolu. Alright. And I named him Gohan, and he's actually pretty damn powerful. And boom! Perfect. Though my elbow is starting to feel sore after all this moving of the elbow back and forth with all these friggin' games. No wonder why these games were made for kids. Alright. We got the bonus. We classed, we classed, we passed the test. And now, we can enter the haunted house. Dangrel. It loses some of its luster when I'm playing it after Halloween. Just saying. I wish I was playing it before Halloween, then it would be cool. A sky prison piece fell from the sky and I heard a mysterious voice. It told me to give the prison piece to whoever clears my attraction. Well, I appreciate it, Tangrowth. That gives me nine. And I believe there are only five more... I believe there are only five more prison pieces for us to collect, and then we're done with the game. And I believe two of them are... Well, I'm freaking tired. I believe two of them are here. All we gotta do is now go talk to Drifloon and get brought into the house, and... Will Electro talk to me now? Electrode! Oh, you don't want to talk to me? You're a jerk. No new Pokemon. So, I guess we ought to just talk to Drifloon and go into the house then. You've cleared Tangrowth's attraction, I see. Well, now you may enter. I appreciate it. Welcome to the haunted house. Love how all these Pokemon have no problem hanging out in the yard of a haunted house, but they don't have the guts to go into the house itself. It's like Scooby Doo. Welcome, you are the 999th visitor to the marvelous haunted zone. I shall be your guide, so please follow me. When the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake, spooks come out for a swing in wake. Happy haunts materialize and begin to vocalize. Grin, grinning ghosts come out to socialize. <laughs> Alright, I'm not intimidated. Let's see. <laughs> the attraction takes place here, guiding you through the darkness, adept in destruction and chaos. Both of which he'll deliver when the bell rings. <laughs> I'm guessing it's Dusk Noir because it looks like Dusk Noir. Hello, Umbreon. What are you up to these days? I see that you have many friends. I wonder if you've connected this world and the world of spirits. Dude, you're not a ghost Pokemon. What are you up with, the, with these spirits? Ansem, what are you up to? I guess that one could use some context too. Um, in Pokemon Coliseum, when I was supposed to be doing an LP of it, I had an Umbreon named Ansem, and it was a really good big part of my team. Not nearly as big as Icarus the Espeon, but whatevs. Wonderful, let's be friends. <gasps> Espeon's gonna be here! Yay! They're, they're here. She, I think it's a girl in this game. But I don't mind. My Espeon Icarus has been a tank for me. Ah, you bum. Fine. Behind this door lies the library. However, enter it you may not. The lady of the house has kept it closed to prying eyes. No, I want to talk to Espeon. Espeon! No! Espeon! I want to be your friend. You're my f one of my favorite Pokemon, and that's time it's not even an exaggeration. You're just behind Kingdra and the good doggo. You're just not a pupper. Heck, 
There's an entire motivational plot about you and friggin' Crimson Fury whenever it gets uploaded. I assume after this has been done. Icarus the Espeon. Oh my lord, I love Espeon. Did you read my mind? I like you. Let's be friends. Would you let me try Dusk Noir's attraction? Oh, of course I will, Icarus. Alright, I think that's everything we can do around here at the moment, so... Let's continue on with our haunted tour. Beyond the door lies a hole, a place where ghost Pokemon dwell. Three, there they have, um, parties. Scary parties. Only those who have cleared Dusk Noir's speed slam may pass. <laughs> and now I shall speak no more. Anything else you wish to learn about this hugely haunted house stays now concealed, but may be revealed. Once you've cleared Dusk Noir's special thing, I don't know. Hi, Ghastly! Did Duskull show you around? Come upstairs! I'll show you the room that's never been opened! Hinges creak in doorless chambers, and strange and frightening sounds echo through the halls. Whenever candle lights flicker, when the air is deathly still, try entering this room. Ooh. I thought I was going to have to walk through the walls. And I was, that Ghastly was just being a jerk. But no, Ghastly's actually opening all the doors for us. And I appreciate that, Ghastly. The blue jewel doors have opened. Alright. Hello, Ghastly. Ghastly. I really enjoy doing things for others, but I seem to scare them. I just don't know why. Do you want to play chase? You're a freaking ghost, of course you're gonna scare people! You big blob of death! And that's what you get for being a big blob of death. You better be my friend now. Good job catching me! Now you can consider all Ghastly friends of yours! Thank you, Ghastly. Alright, so is there anything else I can do in here? Ghastly. At the moment? Oh, Gengar. Hello there. Hey there, it's not often you see anyone around here. Why am I in a painting? <laughs> That's a long story. The short version is I got tired of everything on the outside, you know? I decided to move into the painting, where it's lovely and quiet. You know, you can come out, though. Gengar! Oh, the bell's rung. Now you've done it. Dusk Noir will now be seen. Then his attraction will start up and it's all noise and chaos. Mind you, if you play it, you really have something to brag about in the spirit world. Gengar! My, you do have a lot of friends. Don't you find it a terrible hassle? No, you're not like me at all. I suppose you must be interesting. Very well. I'll come out. Come on, Gengar! Gengars come out of the painting. Hmm, the air outside is much more refreshing than I remembered. Okay, that's it. I'm going to play like a mad thing. Alright, Gengar, will you be my friend? It's been a while since I came out of that painting. I'm going to take the chance to play like I've never played in a long time. Come on, let's battle. Don't be surprised. At what? The fact that you're a good Pokemon? Everybody knows Gengar's a good Pokemon. I am shocked that dashing actually works with the ghost Pokemon. You'd think it wouldn't. But I'm not gonna attempt it. I'm just gonna keep using Thunderbolts and Iron Tails because... Well, that... Oh, you jerk! You jerk, fine, I will dash you. 
Once again, though, it is weird that dashes work on ghost Pokemon. You'd think they would just phase right through them. You win. You win. What are you smirking for? I guess we should be friends. You'll have to let me handle the Haunted Zone attractions, though. Don't worry, Gengar. I'll let you take care of whatever attractions I don't. I want you to. Oh, hi, Voltorb! Will, you, will Electrode be my friend now? Or you could just disappear. Voltorb! Voltorb! Get back here, you ball! You ball! Oh, that, I thought that was something I could crash into. Evidently not. I just wanted to look inside. Thank you for helping me out. You want to battle with me? Oh, sure, why not? I like electric Pokemon. Obviously, because I am one. I feel bad for the Pokemon that don't have arms, though. I, feel, I, really, like, I genuinely do. Like, even like Wooper, and Wooper's like the happiest thing in the world. Oh, well. Will you be my friend? You good and you defeated me. Hey, of course I'll be your friend. And don't think you'll win next time. Well, I appreciate it either way, Voltorb. Alright, I gotta go play Dusk Noir's game, though. Alright, let's go find the way down. Of course, there's always my way. <laughs> and that was the way down. Fortunately, there's no other shortcuts. Oh, Haunter! Good thing I was distracted. Haunter! My big brother's been stuck in the painting all alone. Are you bored? How about a chase? Sure. Why not? In fact, this could honestly be a perfect way to wrap this whole thing up. Oh, you jerk! You're not supposed to teleport! You're supposed to get hit! Oh, he just automatically teleports, okay. I thought he just teleported away from me so so as to avoid getting hit, because that, that'd be shit of the bull variety. Whew, okay. Good job, my peeps. That's even more friends to add to my roster. But I don't think you can beat my big brother, Gengar. Oh, too bad I already beat Gengar. In fact, I've got your whole line as my friends now. You're just going to have to deal with it. Okay, guys, I think that's enough for now. Thank you guys for joining me. Join me next time when we take on Dusk Noir's Challenge. Until then, sayonara.